What is up guys, Rogue Mark here, and today I'll be showing you how to get Cinema 4D R13 32-bit 64. So let's get started. Right now I'm going to show you what your bit system is, and so you're going to go to Start, go to Computer, click on System Properties right here, and under System, you will scroll down and see System Type, and right here mine is a 64-bit operating system, and if yours is 32-bit, obviously it will say 32-bit. So, no worries, there is Cinema 4D is for both 32 and 64. So let's get started. I'm going to have this in the description, you're just going to click on it, it will take you to the site, and you're going to click Premium Download. I already have it, so I'm not going to click on it, and you guys shouldn't have any problem, you just click on it and start downloading down here. So, let's go to the next one. And you're going to need WinRAR for this, it's just a file extractor, because this is in a, an extraction file to... Um, because you can put multiple files in one folder. So you're just going to go to that other link I provided in the description. And right here you'll see WinRAR x86 32-bit 4.20 and WinRAR x64 64-bit 4.20 version. So whatever system bit you are, just click on that. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And now what you're going to want to do, after it's done downloading, it should take you like I said, 22 minutes, you're going to extract the file. So just right click on it after you uh, get one line, which you just double click it and run through that installation process. It takes like 10 seconds, give it a quick. So you'll click on extract here and it will start extracting to your desktop. And what do you know? Well, Norian thinks it's a virus, which it is not. So let me show you what to do. You have virus protection. Let me delete this real quick. It is not a virus, it's just Norton is recognizing it as a hacking program that's sending uh, IPs to a certain server that is not recognized in the system. So let me double click on Norton real quick and um, go to my settings. And all you're going to want to do is just disable antivirus. That's all it is. Click apply. And for anybody else, just find antivirus on your virus protection. Turn it up. And do extract it. Why is this extracting? It should take only about like, I don't know, probably 10 seconds. But uh, your probably won't be on the desktop, so I'll show you what it is. You're going to go start, click on your your name, and go to downloads. And it should be right here under downloads or wherever you save your stuff. So, okay. Um, it's not going to take six or 10 seconds. It's going to take more like 25. So be patient. And yeah. So. Oh yeah, I bet you guys are kind of wondering what's up with my computer because it's a Windows, but it, it has like an app format. Yeah, it's just something I did recently. I like this. Pretty cool. So uh, this is done. Now let me get these kind of on top of each other. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this unpack, double click it. And it says test it on Windows 7 64. Press any key to continue. Just press any key. And it's going to start extracting. Now, this, this should uh, take a little bit. As you see up here, it's still extracting. It's going to take probably like uh, close to like mm, four minutes. But I'll come back after it's done. See you guys in a second. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oops. There we go. I'll be back in a second. Okay, what is up guys? I told you I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, so that took a little bit longer than expected. Probably ran me about eight minutes. Um, if you have a really beast computer, it should only take about like three minutes because uh, the processors can extract it faster. But if you have a slow computer, you're probably looking around 15 minutes. So, as you press the key for it to start extracting, you'll notice that this file pops up right here. And after it's done extracting, you it has a little toolbar on the top that shows you the percentage. And then this file is going to pop up. You just double click it and double click on the folder. Scroll down and there you have your two Sunny Vegas. So this one's going to be the 32 bit and this is going to be the 64. So I'm a 64. I double click on the 64. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for that to open. Um, don't know how long that's going to take. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is going to pop up. It says missing serial number for Cinema 4D. Click OK. It's going to pop up this. Just 
you have to fill this out. Every single one or it won't register you. I've had problems with that in the past. So just type in your user info. It doesn't really matter because you just it's your info. Um, don't type in your street, city, or country, or your country. It won't matter, but not your street because you don't want them to track you down. Because you get it in for free. So just type in your shiz. That's not my address, by the way. Just a uh, street I know. Go to my queue. United States. Okay, that's my country. And serial number. So what you're gonna want to do while your antivirus is still off, double click on this little icon right here. It looks like Cinema 4D. Double click, and it says keys in your hands. Blah blah. blah. Click OK. Pops up. You're gonna click on standalone. Just standalone. Keep it the same. And it's already on Cinema 4D R13 Studio. Click generate and copies it to your clipboard. Press OK. And then now uh, you can exit out of that. And right here, just click paste. There you have it. It says it's in progress, whatever that means. Don't give a D. Give the same up for D. Select my D. Um, I guess just click OK. And there you have it. Cinema 4D R13 Studio. And pretty pretty swiped out. You know, you got all your features. Um yeah so uh hope you guys like my tutorial if this worked for you please subscribe like comment and uh if you have any problems please pm me i would be more than happy to help you out like i said thanks for watching my tutorial like comment subscribe if this worked for you and have a nice day guys